Look, I did my hair, can you tell? <laughs> all right. Again, thanks for all your support. I'll try to keep the expletives down, but I doubt I can do it because there are so many stupid people out there. It's amazing, right? Oh, we need to focus on Ron Paul's good points and forget about the vote fraud. That makes us sound like conspiracy theorists. Really, is that how they cow you down? Because you know, they use the term conspiracy theorist and you don't want to be considered conspiracy theorist? What the hell is wrong with you people? You need to get away from your water coolers and off the couch and quit watching the sports ones and get the hell out there and go to work. Right? I'm reading this one article that makes it sound like he's so courageous to go down there and watch the vote. This should be part of the process. Right? Democracy isn't walking down to your, well, again, let's use the term republic. Right? You want a representative constitutional republic, the part of that is making sure that your vote is counted and knowing that your vote is counted. So it shouldn't just be Ron Paul guys down there. It should be Rick Perry people should be down there and Rick Santorum's guys, if he's got any guys. And uh, Newt Gingrich has got making sure the vote is counted. Making sure that everything's up and up. Right? Shouldn't be a few guys in a back room counting. And with the vote machines and paperless trails, I got links down there, right? I mean, like, it's just great. Watch that 11-minute video where the guy basically tells you that he was hired to hack the vote. And that all those machines are easy hack 100s, basically. Right? And this is not conspiracy theory. The fact that our vote is compromised is 100% fact. The fact that they use statistics, uh, poorly, by the way, to try and hide their, their nefarious actions are, is, is also clear and easy to, be ha easy to be seen if you understand mathematics, which most of you don't. This is, a, that's the, this is the problem. And black box voting, again, beyond a shadow of a doubt, statistically what they've done is very significant and very improbable. Okay, and again, I like, thanks to the guy that points out that in South Carolina, that's a huge Tea Party state, and Newt pulls it off, right? Because Newt is so popular with the Tea Party. Self-censoring right there. Do you notice? Trying to. Come on. Now, for you guys to like want to look, the, take the high road and look the other way, and we don't want to be considered conspiratorial and so forth, bullshit. This isn't just for Ron Paul. This is for everybody. This is for the nation that you supposedly love. Right? Based, one of the foundations, one of the principles of our nation is the fact that we have the right to vote and that everybody gets a fair shake, right? That you vote and your vote is counted. You don't know your vote is counted, especially in South Carolina. 100% paperless ba ba balloting. Are you guys insane? Right? No way to verify it. Trust us. And then when guys go down there and want to watch the vote, you know, and try to verify, right? Authenticate and verify. They're courageous. No, you guys got to get out. And at every election, all the time, right, it should be out in the open because we can't have it, right, in Russia, in China. Cuba has better elections than we do, right? <laughs> right? And, and Clinton flapping her jaw about how the Russian election and so forth. Take a look at what's going on in the United States. Right? It shouldn't be where they're counting ballots in secret. In Iowa, for the first time ever, instead of just counting them out in the open like they always do, this year, they decided they're going to count them in secret to protect the vote. You don't count votes in secret. You count votes out in public where everybody can see, and there should be observers from anywhere, from foreign countries even, if they want to see how it's being done. Right? They should be welcome. But especially people that are Americans... Right? We the people want to go check out the vote. Shouldn't be any question. It's in the law even. Your, it's your right. And for the most part, the law in almost every state protects you and says, yes, you have the right to watch. Right? You don't have the right to interfere, but taking pictures from a distance, making sure that the numbers add up, right? asking some simple questions, that's not interference. If you're down there trying to say, oh, you can't vote these ballots or you know, tampering and so forth, that's completely different. And if you, there's enough of you down there, it can be very clear, your word against theirs, you're not tampering, you're just observing, as is your right under the law. Now, for people in, in, you know, I understand Ron Paul will get crucified if he's on TV. As I've said this numerous times, it's not up to Ron Paul, and it certainly isn't going to be the mainstream media. Look at Bain Capital. Who do they own, right? They own Clear Channel. Do you think Rush Limbaugh who uh, apparently, and a few of these other guys, are, are, are floating the idea of brokering the uh, Republican convention. So it's brokered, winner-take-all. 
Of course they are. Who owns them? Mitt Romney. Who would benefit from this? Mitt Romney. Right? That's not conspiracy theory. And again, go take a look at who owns the mainstream media. Again, not conspiracy theory. And you know what? I'm not even going to link that stuff. Do your own damn research. Right? Who owns them? Who owns the banks? Now, it should be very obvious that we're taking a look. There's a, I've got a link down here to, uh, that I got off of whatreallyhappened.com um, where they talk about the $26 trillion, right? A breakdown of the $26 trillion from the Federal Reserve, those bailouts and where all that money went. Trillion! Okay, Ron Paul wants to shine light on this. Do you think the bankers are happy with him? Do you think they want to? Do you think they want you to know about this? Okay, those self same people own the media, and those self same people will tell you, "Oh, if you believe in vote fraud, or if you think it's vo believe, listen to that, like it's religion, right? If you understand vote fraud is what's going on in this country, then you're a conspiracy theorist, and they're gonna try and paint you black, right? And, and, and like you're just crazy. No." When it's fraud, it's fraud. Calling a spade a spade is it's apparently you know, reason, part of the reason why my videos are popular is because I'm so revolutionary. I'm just speaking the truth. I'm just stating facts. And all you guys will be you know, cowing your head. Oh, they'll call us conspiracy theorists if we go down and watch the vote. What the hell's wrong with you? I mean, seriously, what the hell's wrong with you? We're at the point now where it's getting to be crucial. And take a look at the delegates, right? Because it, it's all about the delegates. This last thing is still just theater, right? This whole theater about Newt Gingrich sweeping, right? So they can have a great story to feed the people on TV, right? But if you take a look at the delegate count, we can easily win this thing on the delegate count, which is why they're trying to broker it, right, the election, right? Or trying to broker the, the primary there at the Republican convention. Okay, and again, I put links in the other videos on what that means. If you don't know what that means, you need to understand what that means. But the concept is very simple. These guys are trying to steal the votes. They're trying to steal the delegates. They're trying to, you know, flip it for them. And if you don't understand how it works with the voting machines, watch a couple of the videos that I have linked down there because they can flip it 100%. Right? They can change it. Ron Paul's votes become Rick Santorum's votes. Right? Simple. Or vice versa. Or they can spread it around. How they, There's lots of different ways to try and do it. But see, their mathematics is so poor, they get caught every time if you just look. Right? If you ignore it, you're not going to find it. You can't find what you're not looking for. And most of you guys don't want to look. Right? But this is what the republic has come to. Right? These people are ripping you off. And like I said, the illusions are starting to fade. So rather than pretend and be afraid of the conspiracy theory moniker because that's what they're going to call you, right? Right, because it's like you're a conspiracy theorist or you trust Diebold. I don't trust Diebold. I don't trust these guys. I don't trust the voting machines. Right, paper ballots counted in public. I trust that. Nations with far greater populations than us are able to do this. Right, India, China, right? And yet somehow in the United States we're unable to. We have to use computers that are 100% hackable. And they don't do that, you know, they don't guarantee that. And then they want to use, oh, it's proprietary software. Our, you know, they, they're, it's supposed to be a secret. Nonsense. Right? You're in the public business of counting public votes, then your software should be open source, for one thing. And secondly, it should be very easy for anybody to take a look and verify what happened on those machines. And again, it shouldn't be, you know, courageous. It shouldn't be like people going down there and you know, exercising their rights and be, right, being shoved off in a corner. You guys should be down there in droves. Right? You went to go vote? Then make sure your vote got counted. Right? Every four years. This is a self-governance that we have going on here. And self-governance starts with that vote. Now, that means that you need to know your vote was counted. You have two parts to your right to vote. The right to vote and the right to know that your vote was counted. That means that instead of whining at a bar in your beer about you know how they ripped us off and this and that, get the hell out of the bar, sober up, and walk down to the next place that they're having a, a, a caucus and make sure the votes get counted right. Right, get off your couch, get out of the, get away from the water cooler. Right, I know it's difficult. I know you got kids. I know you got stuff to do. I know there's a game on TV. I know, but at the same time, you want your republic. The only way to do it is ensure the vote. 
All right, tons of links down here, right? I'm tired of hearing about it. That's why I'm making these videos, because I'm just tired of it, right? You people, just, it's ridiculous. Wake up. You're like small children. I know the light is bright and it hurts your eyes, but get out of the cave and take a look at what's going on. It's not conspiracy theory. It's easy to verify. What's going on is statistically impossible in some cases, very improbable in others. I mean, for these guys to just, you know, make up huge margins of, of difference between, you know, what people say they're going to do voting for Ron Paul and what they actually do, you know, winding up voting for Newt or Rick or whoever it is. And again, it's not partisan. The Democrats should be behind this. Every candidate should be, make sure that you got the votes, right? You're so sure of yourself, then make sure that your votes were counted. Authenticate and verify. Black box voting, watch the vote, votefrog.org on and on and on, right? It's the rule of the day, and it needs to stop. Nothing changes if it doesn't stop.